Welcome to Nova Southeastern University's new video forum. My name is Larry Calderon and I will be your chief navigator and host for what we will consider to be a number of excursions behind the scenes at NSU looking into important issues that are affecting South Florida, the state and beyond. Today we are at NSU's Oceanographic Center which is also the home to the National Coral Reef Institute and the Guy Harvey Research Institute and the Save Our Sea Shark Center. Soon at this location Construction will begin for a $30 million state-of-the-art research facility funded through the National Institute of Standards and Technology. The main purpose of this facility for uh, the Center of Excellence is to uh, take a thematic approach to coral reef research. And we're concentrating our efforts into five themes, also concentrating a great number of faculty and graduate students into one central location. So we hope to make a, a difference in terms of coral reef science for the region and also for the nation and hopefully even internationally. We expect the Center of Excellence for Coral Reef Ecosystem Science to be fully completed by December or January, uh, December 2011 or January 2012. We're on a fast track to get that done and we're on schedule so we're pretty optimistic. This is a grant from the National Institute of Science and Technology via the Department of Commerce and it's funded by ERA funding or stimulus funding. So one of the purposes of the grant, in addition to building an outstanding research building, is to create jobs. And it will in fact create jobs. There will be over 300 construction jobs, over 50 graduate student research assistantship jobs that will either be created or sustained, and we'll also add new faculty and staff. So that's adding new jobs as well as keeping our current people employed. So we view it as a contribution not only to research but also to the economy. This new center will be the only research facility in the United States dedicated to coral reef ecosystem research and tropical ecosystems, and it will be the country's largest coral reef research center. We believe this facility is a first in the United States in terms of a concentration of coral reef research, coral reef science, in one building in one location. Some schools and uh, departments have bits and pieces of coral reef work. But this will be a concentration bringing a lot of people together, not only academia, but government and private uh, industry partners to work together to find solutions to this pressing issues we do have today in coral reefs. They're under severe threat from a variety of causes, climate change, anthropogenic change. So something has to be done, and we hope this will make a difference. And scientists at NSU's Oceanographic Center, who are recognized internationally for their expertise, are now being asked to weigh in on the effects of the worst oil disaster in the history of the United States. Well, you know, this, this is a grant that uh, has come from British Petroleum uh, in response to the, to the large oil spill that occurred in the Gulf of Mexico. The purpose of this grant is to try and understand the impacts this, this oil spill is, is having on, on the marine life in the Gulf of Mexico. My part of this particular grant is to study deep sea sharks. The way that we received this BP oil, oil spill money is that uh, um, it was a competitive process and we had to write proposals saying that we wanted to study this particular aspect, deep sea sharks in our case, and, um, and we had to make an argument as to why that was a, a good thing to study and to spend the money on. And so what we did here at NSU is we collaborated with uh, um, uh, three other entities, uh, NOAA, which is the National Oceanic, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, uh, Florida International University, and the University of North Florida. And so, uh, so scientists at, at, at these uh, altogether four places got together and we wrote this proposal because we all had the right expertise to put this package together and submitted it for consideration for funding. And out of the, I think, about 230-odd proposals, or 233 proposals, uh, only 27 were awarded, and uh, this was one of them. You know, one of the really nice things about this BP oil spill funding is that it allows us to support the training of a PhD student. You know, in terms of the impacts of this uh, uh, Gulf of Mexico oil spill, uh, all we can do is rely on experiences from other large oil spills, like the Exxon Valdez oil spill. And we know from that oil spill, the effects of that were being felt and, uh, for over 10 years. And in fact, some people argue that they're still being felt. We uh, submitted a proposal to look at uh, sponges as bioindicators. And we've been studying sponges in my laboratory uh, here at the Ocean Center for 
uh, a few years and uh, I've been working on sponges also for uh, over a decade. The money uh, that BP is giving us is significant and important because molecular research is fairly expensive. Uh, it costs thousands of dollars still to read DNA sequences even though the price is going down. So it's going to be a big help to us. Um, we have projects now uh, that we want to uh, develop and uh, obtain more data on, uh, on sponges and their genes and microbial communities and their genes. Um, so uh, any, any bit helps and this is, this is a, a nice, nice uh, bit of change or, or uh, funding to do this. Please take a moment to listen to the other NSU voices on the right hand side of our screen and I personally invite you to join in the discussion.